Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is D-Link's leaked crypto keys. You've probably heard of public-private key cryptography. I don't have time to go into it in detail. Look it up if you haven't heard of it. But it's essentially this idea of having two keys used to sign things. That way you can authenticate when you sign or encrypt something, you or some entity really is the person that has signed or encrypted that particular thing. In any case, today's story is the fact that D-Link unfortunately leaked their very sensitive private software signing key. Some random network citizen was downloading one of their webcam firmwares and found a directory in this open source firmware that actually contained their private software signing key as well as the passwords necessary to use it. This means anyone that found that particular key within the past six months could have used it to actually sign anything and make it appear as though it really is legitimate D-Link software. So why is this a big deal? Well, smarter, sophisticated attackers out there don't want you to have to interact much with their malware to load it. Nowadays, Windows has some security controls where there'll be a pop-up window if the application you're installing isn't properly signed. But if the attacker can sign his malware with a legitimate key, it avoids that pop-up from coming up. So the worry here is if a bad guy within the past six months has found D-Link's private key, he could have been using it to sign his malware which would more seamlessly install onto your Windows systems. Now there's a lot of good news here. First of all, a, a random person found this. There's no guarantee that any attacker in the world knows that this key was leaked. The other good thing is the key that was found has actually already expired. If a bad guy actually downloaded and found this key today, he could not use it to sign new malware. But the one worry is if a black hat did find this key within the past six months, anytime before September 3rd, he may have been signing his malware with the key. Now, what's probably going to happen is Microsoft will probably revoke this key in the future. That's really the only way you can protect yourself from this. The final good news is this doesn't really make it easier for malware to get on your system. The attacker still needs to find an exploit to force malware on your system, or he still needs to trick you into trying to install something. The only worry is if that does happen, this takes one of the security mechanisms away that would create more user interaction, which in other words would give you a chance to stop the infection from happening. The other takeaway here is just to realize how important your private keys are. It was actually a pretty big mistake for D-Link to have their private key and the password necessary to use it in a firmware file they published to the world. So remember, if you have private keys in your organization, you need to treat that data very, very seriously, encrypt it, only share it with certain folks, and try to keep track of it so it doesn't leak to the public. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching. One quick show note, I'll be traveling all week next week, so there may not be as many daily security bites.